Things can get confusing in the world of acoustics. There's so many different terms to remember. In this video, we'll discuss transmission loss. Transmission loss is the difference in decibels between a source room and a receiving room. So basically, how much sound is a wall or assembly or material letting through to the next space? How much is being transmitted? Let's say 100 decibels of noise is being produced in room A, and 70 decibels makes it through to room B. So the sound level in room B is at 70 decibels. That means that the transmission loss, or TL number, of the wall between room A and room B is 30. The higher the TL number, the better the construction is. We want a high TL number because that means that most of the sound is staying inside the source room and not being leaked out to the surrounding spaces. For example, let's say room A is producing the same 100 decibels, but now room B is only at 20 decibels. That would mean that the TL number is 80, aka the wall assembly did a much better job. Get the idea? The numbers can seem a little reversed at first, but once you understand it, it's easier to remember. So let's review. The TL number is basically how much of the total sound produced is staying in the source room, so we want a high number. A cheat sheet on transmission loss can be found on our website. Just click the link in the description below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss new videos. See you next time. If you want to see more ARE study help, practice questions, explanations, and tips for aspiring architects, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And check out our website, linked in the description below. You'll find full-length practice exams, our blog for aspiring architects, and our free ARE playbook.